Hello, Donna here. Do you want to cut by hand and make it look like you've used an electronic cutting machine? Well, I've got five fussy cutting tips that's going to improve your hand cutting. What I'm going to show you are the basics. I'm going to start off with some simple cuts. I've got a Scotch retractable craft knife. I use this for probably three quarters of my cutting. I also use the EK Success Cutter B Precision Tip Scissors. And these are my fussy cutting scissors. I've got this sheet here I'm going to use for my demo. But if you want to print this out for practice, you can go to my website and print this out for free. You can just make up your own shapes as well. So I'm going to start off with showing you how I cut a straight edge outside line. The first technique I use is I get the point of my blade and I put it on the point of my corner just on the side and then I flip it around. I push my ruler up and let it hit that blade. Now you can see there's a gap between the bottom of the ruler and the bottom of the line. I pivot that around until it hits the line. Now I know that I've got a nice straight line. I drag my arm down. When I cut, I leave my wrist rigid and I pull my elbow back towards my body. I hardly move my wrist. I'm going to move my ruler across to here, do the same again, put my knife on that corner, hit the ruler on the blade, pivot the bottom to match the line at the bottom and then cut that straight down there. I'm going to turn my work around and repeat. Now I've got a basic shape cut out and it's got good clean corners, good clean straight lines. Now I'm going to show you how to cut an inside window where you won't have any cut lines coming in here. If you pull your knife down and overcut into here, just say you wanted to use this like a window, that's going to look pretty terrible on your finished work. So to avoid that use a similar technique. Start at the corner, get your ruler. This time I'm not going to cut all the way down to the corner, I'm going to stop short. So I'm going to line it up and I'm going to stop there. I, st I stopped right there. I'm going to turn my work around and I'm going to put my knife back on the opposite end of the same line put my line, my ruler back on and I'm going to cut back to here. So I've cut that one line but I've used two different ends. I'm going to put it back on this corner, put my ruler up to the knife, stop short, turn it around, come back the other way. I'm going to do that on all four sides. Now out comes the window. That definitely will stop you from bringing your knife too far down in here and overcutting onto your work and potentially ruining it. So that is how you cut out a basic outside shape and a window on the inside. So that is tip number one. Now for this one here, I'm just going to cut away all the excess paper. Same applies. Put your blade on the corners. I'll cut that right off. You can see how I'm going around my work. I'm planning how I'm going around it. Now when I get to here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my blade right in that corner here. And I'm going to not put my ruler in there. I'm just going to use 
my blade and I'm going to bring my elbow back towards my body and I'm just going to very slowly cut that angle. I'm going to do the same on this one. This time I'll use my ruler. I'm going to put my blade on the corner there, line the ruler up with that line and then I'm going to cut past that line a bit. If you can see my cut line there, it's longer than the corner. Then I'm going to come back to this corner here, put my blade right in the corner and cut past here. So you can see now that that is starting to free up. I'm going to put my point back on that line again using the tap and touch method. Then I'm going to put the tap and touch method back here and did you notice I come past that point there? I started in the middle of this triangle which is nothing and then that allows me to lift that out. That is cut out perfectly with no overcuts anywhere. The triangle is neat on the inside, the outside. All the lines are cut as if you've used a cutting machine. So that is an extension of the tip number one, how you can cut with a straight line. Now for the circle, we're going to use the fussy cut scissors for the circle. If you've only got big scissors, just follow along using your large scissors, but I'm just going to use my small scissors. So I'm going to cut a single circle off and I'm going to start by coming off the edge of my cardstock and notice how I'm doing I'll, I'll do some here. I'm going to do little, tiny little cuts. I'm not going boom, boom, boom like I would there. I'm going little, little, little and I'm only using this part of my scissors. So I'm going to come back on that line using tiny little cuts on that line. I'm hardly moving my scissors actually and I'm moving my cardboard around. I'm moving my circle around. I'm taking my time. I'm going to take a little bit longer to cut around this than I would if I was cutting anything else. And this is how you get a circle that is looks like it's been cut by an electronic machine or a punch. Tiny little circles and if you start getting confident you can get a bit faster and just keep cutting until you're back at the beginning. But the secret is little tiny cuts. Pushing this out of your way. If it gets in your way cut it off here. Don't cut it off to where you're up to in your cut line. I'm turning my cardboard more than I'm turning my scissors. And this is only 200 GSM cardboard so it's not hard to cut out. And when I get back to the beginning I'm just going to smoothly blend it back in to where I started. And that does look like it's been cut out with punch. So make use of this practice sheet here. Print it out. Just sit there and keep practicing on how to cut these out. Right now tip number three. Tip number three is I make my own tags. I very rarely buy tags. These are shipping tags from the shop. Now these were in my mum's stash but I prefer to make my own. So I've also got mum's or a stack of mum's credit cards because mum's a crafty angel now so I've just got these that I things that I keep that were mum's and I found this muffin 
break card in her things. So what you can do with a card like this, if you haven't seen this tip before, you can make this into a template just for cutting off your corners. If this is the type of corner that you like, you just mark off where you want your corner, find the angle that you like, and mark it on your card. You pretty much need a craft knife to do this. You need something quite sharp. And do a few cuts. Don't try and cut through it. You can use your scissors to cut that off because these cards do cut, you know, fairly easy because we've all cut a credit card in half when we're finished with it. So I started that off just to get it going with my knife so I had a perfect line to follow. So now I know that if I want to make myself a tag, I can put my little card on there and I can do that. I can flip it over and match it on the other side, line it up at the top and the side and I can match it up there and I've got a matching slope on both sides. What you can do on the other side is just say you wanted it to be a lot deeper so you want that angle to be much bigger. You just cut a much bigger angle on the other side so you've got more than one. So I've got two. You can use this as a little round if you wanted to round the corner here on something. You can use this as a little round. So get your old card out and use that as a template for rounding your corners or making your own tags. Now for fussy cutting, I've made a whole video on cutting out this one here. You can go and check that out if you like. You can fussy cut very intricate birds. This one here, I've used these scissors here and to get into this shape here, I've used my craft knife. So I'm just going to show you how to fussy cut around this car whether or not you want to keep these little lines here and the words are uh, everything that you've got to stop and think about before you start cutting. There are two ways to fussy cut. You can fussy cut with a little border around the edge of everything that you, you want to finish off or you can cut right on the line. And this one here is typical of having the border around the edge. If you don't think you're that good at fussy cutting, try this. I'm just gonna use this image here as an example. Imagine a line that's just ever so close to the outside of the image that you wanna cut out. So draw yourself in your mind an imaginary line. So we're going to follow the image. Now I wouldn't come all the way up in here, I'd bypass that and I'd come back down here and across here. You could even, I'm going to rub that bit out there and I'm going to shortcut that. You could go that away. I don't think there's any need to go up there. And you could then follow it around here so just draw this imaginary line around what it is that you want to fussy cut out. You'll notice there that I drew a little line there. We could have gone all the way across, but I've done that to add interest. You, you can certainly cut straight across there or you can follow little areas just to add interest. So I'm going to cut out the car without drawing the line. Again, I'm going to start off my page. I'm going to come close, but not too close. Little cuts, I'm using cuts that are a little bit bigger than I did on my circle. 
and I'm going to I'm using my scissors back here not at the point again and I'm turning my paper around more than I'm turning my scissors as I come to all of these points I turn my paper and I'm doing short cuts so that I'm not getting jagged lines turning my paper around as I'm cutting I'm doing two things at once I'm cutting when I got to the corner I left my scissors pretty well still and then turn that corner come down here left my scissors still and turn that corner I'm going to leave that line in I'm going to follow it down I'm going to come around the text follow the text around I'm just sort of using both I'm going to cut that off there to make it easier to use I'm going to I'm sort of using both the scissors and the paper moving at the same time imagine that that border line there follow the edge stop short turn it around just keep on imagining that border if at first you're not sure how it should all be going try I'll move that so you can see better try drawing the pencil line around it and following it just to give you a little bit of an idea of where it's going I'm not going to put the page number in there I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to follow that light around just to give it a little bit of interest any real pointy bits come off now you see how that looks pretty good with the text in it if I had to cut that off it'd still work but I think that looks really cute with the text in it now I'm going to fussy cut this one right on the line and I'm going to show you something what I'm also going to do is I'm going to keep this piece here and I'm going to keep that with it because that is something that I can use in a journal and if I put this in an envelope to use later on I've got the description of what this car was so I'm just going to cut roughly around this box here and that makes it easier for me to cut out this time I'm not going to cut the border the little edge around I'm going to cut straight on the line this is another form of fussy cutting so both ways are correct so I'm going to cut right on that line I have picked a fairly easy image to do this is fairly easy I'm going slow again and I'm sort of doing a similar technique as I've done with that little round circle I'm coming up around the terminals on the battery and I'm following it around as closely as I can on that line very very tiny cuts you can see my scissors are hardly moving at all fussy cutting is something that you can sit down and take your time with it's not something that to get slap happy and fast about moving my paper you can see my two fingers on my left hand just pivoting the paper around and I'm right on that black line where there are no lines on the image I'm just making them up as I go along cutting back to a normal cutting technique until I come off the page so that is two styles of fussy cutting one with a border and one without when you get onto an intricate design like this one and this one this method is harder this method will show up all of your mistakes this method is very forgiving 
With these fussy cutting tips, you can make better decisions about what you wanna make because you don't have to do it out of fear that you're not good at cutting out. So the point of today is to get you creating with confidence. And if you enjoyed this one, I'll be grateful if you check out my monthly membership subscription. It's a bit like Patreon, only with a few more features and the best part, you get access to me. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this. Is this something you struggle with? Because I do hear this a lot. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much and take care.